Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Dayton Flyers and the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, you get Shock City, especially if they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Gamecocks are clearly outmatched on paper in this one, Dick. What's the key to pulling off a victory for them? Here are a couple of keys, Brad. First, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Secondly, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. Lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And a momentary look from three-point land for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He looks at the hoop. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The shooting guard with the ball. He drains the bucket. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Great play to take that to the basket. Now trying to feed the low block. Number 30 picks up the foul. First team foul. Post flashes. Got the shot if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. Number 33 is feeling great right now. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. The shooting guard gets the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. The point guard gets the pass. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Picked out of the air. Jumps in. Nice shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number 15, pump fakes. There's a double team waiting there. Number 10 takes it away. On the inside, trying to draw some contact. The ball goes out of bounds. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Number 33 takes the pass. A little frustration right there. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. The power forward takes the feed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. The 
They go into the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Tries for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. He fakes the shot. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Down inside. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Trying to feed the low block. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. In the paint and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Turns it over. They work it around the perimeter. From right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. Goes for the steal down low and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance and he lost, baby. That's a seven zip run. That spacing on the dribble gives it up for two perfectly executed it's the replay please <laughs> gave it up with anticipation defensively On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up, fakes it. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. The ball goes out of play. Dickey's really, he makes the block. They run it up into transition. Goes up for two. He buries the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. The student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. High post screen. So effective that screen. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. 
What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Puts it up, looking for contact. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Up and inside. From downtown, he hits it. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Gave it up. Defense playing up on the outside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Number two is called for the defensive foul. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. The Gamecocks are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes his first. Converts on that free throw line, and that's major. With a deep shot from outside, he gets that one to fall. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Drains it. They work the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Good fake. The fake. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. On the dribble, gives it up with the fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Fast break opportunity here. Trying to draw the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> that ball movement get that good spacing and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot goes up strong but that's an offensive foul what a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot Mr. Nestler that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, you spin back the other way. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Gets it back out. Steals the ball. Everybody, including us, Dick, we didn't think they could hang with this team. I'll tell you what, they smell upset. They came out and played with a lot of passion. Steals the pass. Pushes it up. 
And the ball goes out of play. This might say something about the program of the team because look at the sparse crowd tonight. I tell you what, this is an advantage for the visitor. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. The Flyers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Momentary look from three-point land. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great play to take that to the basket. Kicks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. In spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Double team now, bad angle. Tries for two. Nice defensive rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. If you watch it again, it's even better. the pass in the paint. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Up and inside. There's a double team waiting there. For two, and in and out. He takes a three, off the rim, and no good. Jumped in front to take it away. Got a nice screen. From three-point territory, comes up empty. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. From way outside, he gets the bucket to fall. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He shoots from the top of the key. The Flyers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Intercepted. Tries a three. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Number 32 steals the ball. Tries for two. That's good. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The land. 
Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For the bucket. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. Gave it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Nice high post screen. The Flyers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. 10 seconds to get it off. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Look at that spacing. Launches the three. Dayton have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got to take some flight on the defensive end. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. miscommunication happening. The fans are patiently waiting for something exciting to happen. So far, the crowd has had nothing to cheer about. Those long arms trying to get in in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He goes to the free throw line. Makes the first shot. Gets the second shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Top of the circle, way off target. He intercepts it. Fires it down. Two, perfectly executed. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? Shot clock is dead. They work the perimeter. In the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Here's a double team at the end of the first half. The Flyers are up by 10. Dick, what would you say is the pay of the half in this tightly knit affair? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. Number 22 is keeping his composure. I guess you can look at it that way, Brad. Or maybe the opposing team is keeping him in check. The score at half tells the story. This is kind of what we expected, uh, Richard. You know, going into this ball game, we didn't expect it to be close in the first half, and it wasn't. I'll tell you what, David has really had a tough time against the Goliath. They have done a great job, the Goliath, coming out mentally focused and ready to perform. Oh, 
isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. He's money with the shot. Step out on that screener. It's good. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Nice feet. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Number two grabs it. The ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Picks off the pass. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. And the ball goes out of bounds. This could feel like a home game for the road team, Dick. There's nobody here. I tell you, we always talk about getting that edge, the home court advantage. It's not here tonight, Brad. Takes away the pass. Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He nails the bucket. They work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Too many dribbles and a steal. Number 30 with a huge jam. Now they work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Stolen away. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two, makes it. Look at that, that's unbelievable, baby. Outside. He puts up the three ball. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten through him about a second earlier. Had a momentary look from three point land. A high screen. For the bucket, the Flyers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. They 
They work it back to the outside. And now they'll bring it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hit. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. He attempts the three. He missed. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Scorches the net. The Gamecocks are behind by 11. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Puts it up. The Flyers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. The center handles the pass for two and off the mark. Let's it fly off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Wide open for the shot. Looks at the three. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Goes up for two. And in and out. Look at that spacing. Steals a pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Got an open look if he wants it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the top of the circle. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He rejects it. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 33 draws the personal. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. The Flyers will step to the line for the first time. Nope. It's the second shot. The 
They'll work it around the arc. Fake for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The ball goes out of play. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as expected, the favorite has led the way through most of this one, and that's what happens when you have the makeup of a great team. All right, thanks, Aaron. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Got it in the low block. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. For two, perfectly executed. Picked out of the air. Got numbers right here. Jumps into the defender. Gets it to go. The Flyers are ahead by 16. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. In and out. The defender is still applying great blood pressure, Brad. He shoots from left of the circle. Sinks it. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the elbow. The Flyers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He shoots from long range. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The center handles the feed. Set that screen away. Here's the trap. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Number 15 is called for the foul. First personal foul. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Number three coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. It's two at the charity strike. <laughs> Jump hook from the low block. They still don't score. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Come up with a steal. They get it out into transition. Jumps in. 
He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. There he is, puts the ball loose. Tries for two. Up, easy one. Goes up for two. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. He tries a jump hook. The Gamecocks have got to continue to get him the ball. Yeah, he's on fire. Time out. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in a moment. Let's get back to the action. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Turnaround jumper off the rim and no good. The point guard receives the pass. Dumps it in. He goes with a baby hook. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks couldn't cure. Entry pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. Number 32 in the paint. He puts it in with contact and all. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. For the bucket, rims out. That kid's making him think about every shot, Dick. And he's doing it without fouling, which is the key. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, drops the bucket despite the harm. That's basic. Blocks it. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. High post flasher is open. That's one of the things I absolutely rejected. Oh, baby, he showed and telegraphed that baby. Intercepted. On the outside. Gave it up. He comes away with it. The offense is having a hard time finding the open look. Great defense. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Number 33 is whistled for the foul. Second team foul. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brown, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. For the deuce. For the bucket. 
Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. With a little baby hook. Doesn't go. Jacksonville State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. Great defense. He takes the shot off the baseline. Goes and gets it. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Double team now, bad angle. That's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. Tries the turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. In and out. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Strips the ball. Shot clock is dead. Cross court. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. There's the turnover situation for the half hit. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. Clock stop with a foul. Number two going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. Makes the front end of the one and one. He hits a second. They really need a score here to have a chance. To the live action we go. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Pushes it. Picked off. He puts up the tray. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. 
Jacksonville State can't pull this one out. Very good game. You know, they really showed what they were made of and can come away from this game with a moral victory. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.